Now back to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your hosts, Joey and Holly Baird. It is the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. WisconsinVegetableGardener.com, your destination for all things gardening. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. For 840 videos and more coming, I think we're up to uh, doing about nine videos a week now. Holly, what are GMOs? So genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, is simply an organism whose genes have been altered by genetic engineering. Okay, listen to this, folks. This is important, what she's going to say here. So this is the result of a laboratory process where genes from the DNA of one species are extracted and artificially forced into the genes of an unrelated plant or animal. The foreign genes may come from bacteria, viruses, insects, animals, or even humans. So essentially here, and uh, and this has been done, in in big ag, I grew up on a farm, so I understand what GMOs are and and the whole process. The farmers kind of got their hands tied with the the big chemical companies, DuPont, Monsanto, DeKalb, Pioneer. Uh, What they're doing is, and this is an example, they're taking a DNA sample from a salmon that that swims in an Alaskan river, implanting it into the corn kernel, creating a strain of corn that is more cold tolerant to grow in more north, northern climates. Then, in order to grow that successfully, that gene is also altered in which they can spray chemicals like Roundup, which has, what is it, glossimo, uh, glyphosate. glyphosate, which now in California, they have made the company, am I, am I wrong in this? They have to label it as a possible cancer-causing chemical mm-hmm. on the bottle. They spray this on the field to kill everything except for the actual crop that they're growing. So when you hear Roundup Ready corn, Roundup Ready soybeans, Roundup Ready cotton, Roundup Ready canola, all of this stuff, they can be sprayed. uh, This is the weed killer. Okay, so let's let's talk about why this is controversial. Explain that. Okay, so, well, they they did this, and they they didn't have any proof of any long-term effects on humans and then also the biodiversity of the ecosystem that they're putting this on these crops, the soil that exists underneath these crops. And so there's speculations that, and very high speculations that things like obesity, uh, cancers, um, just general uh, chronic illnesses are becoming more in the, la- in the last 25 years. Yeah, in the last 25 when years. When this has really started to ramp up as, in as the As a result 90s, of yeah. the genetic, genetically modified foods. And there was also there's also a lot of things in the United States about them being labeled and banned. They're restricted or banned in 64 countries already, not including the United States. And also, bees are dying off because of the GM crops. And without bees, we don't have food. And it's it's a result of the neonicotinoid pesticides, which are just the pesticides that are killing the bees. So. The reason why you can't, if you're concerned of, uh, well, am I going to plant GMO crops in my garden? Am I going to get the seeds? No. The reason being is the big chemical companies, and I named them earlier, in order for a farmer to grow a genetically modified crop, they go to a dealer or a seed broker or, or a buyer. They say, okay, I need X amount of seed for X amount of acres. So they reach out to these companies and say, okay, this farmer wants to buy this. So at the time of purchase, the farmer has to sign contracts stating that this is the intention for the crop. They're not going to save the seed. If they save the seed, the, the seed company in which they purchased it from can sue them, take them to court, uh, basically take everything they own because those seeds are copyright and patented. And, and you can find numerous uh, stories online of farmers who have lost their land because of cross-pollination because they didn't really do it. They didn't do it on purpose because of the, the cross-pollination. So, so let's talk about common, common G- GMO uh, foods and crops. That you're going to find in your grocery store. And that includes soy. soy that, are not, that are not organic. If it's labeled is, organic, it's not. Soy is like the highest one. That, that's soybeans or soybean right. oil. Yeah. And then corn. Corn is obviously the second highest one. Both are about 95 to 98 percent uh, grown in the United States. And you might think, okay, I, I don't eat corn. Well, you you don't eat. Do you drink you're not, soda? You're not, yeah, you're not thinking of the corn that you eat off the cob. It's corn that's grown to sweeten things. Do you eat candy? It's added to things to to bulk it up, basically. If you you can find corn in a lot of stuff. Uh, soda and what does it have? That that glucose. What is it? Uh, fructose. Well, high fructose corn syrup. Go. That right. is corn. So, because corn is sweet, and so it's then used and processed and over processed to uh, maple sweeten, syrup to sweeten things. Oh, uh, uh, or or non- pancake syrup. Pancake syrup that is not you know maple syrup. The the, the fake stuff. 
uh, canola oil, big organic or big, big GMO uh, crop. And that's derived derived from the rapeseed oil, which is one of the most chemically altered oils in the U.S. Um, cotton is huge. That's not something that you can necessarily avoid. You're not consuming it. It is something to think about. And then milk. A lot of cows are given the growth hormones, and they have been shown to act inside the human body. A lot of pe- a lot of controversy about that. With and farmers do that to get the cows to grow quicker, to produce more milk, to produce more calves, to produce more meat, to produce more money when they sell them at market. And that's why a lot of uh, young women are developing at an earlier age than before. Yes. Uh, sugar. And that has been proven. Sugar beets. Um, sugar, uh, yep, sugar is it, a huge If one. it's derived from sugar beets. Sugar cane is what we use. You can't tell the difference. It's an organic sugar. Very, very good for you versus the uh, uh, or uh, GMO of sugar. And then let's talk about papaya. A lot of people don't know that, but papaya and even pineapple, too, is definitely uh, genetically modified grown food. And, and just recently you'll find some zucchini, potatoes, yellow squash, rice that are all genetically modified in grocery stores as well if it's not labeled organic uh, you want to be aware of that but you will not be able to buy uh, plant or grow genetically modified crops in your garden because you're not signing a contract with the big and i think we definitely encourage you to do the research you know we're just kind of bringing this to light are we perfect do we do do joy and i consume genetically modified foods oh we certainly do it's we try everywhere we try to limit it but a lot of things are getting labeled now saying they're non-GMO. So it's definitely something you can think about and look at. If you're in the Milwaukee or surrounding areas, just tune your radio to 860 AM or FM 106.5. You can also find links on our Facebook pages, The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener and Home Canning. Our website, thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, click on the radio tab at the top of the page, then click on the Listen Live button and you'll have immediately access to our live program. Mobile devices work very well. Also, go to your app store and download for free the TuneIn app or the Simple Radio app. Then search WNOV 860, save it to your favorites, and you can have access to our radio show live wherever you're at in the world. Our radio program will also have podcast replay under the radio tab day uh, several days following the live broadcast. You can find all of these links in the show notes below. Our show airs 9 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time every Saturday, March through the end of October. And we want to thank our sponsors because without them, this would not be anywhere possible. You can find all of their links under the radio tab on our website at thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.